Welcome to the Lakeside Productions YouTube series, where I am repairing a 1940 seaplane tender and repairing it back into a liverboard which it was converted to after World War II. The boat is 40 foot long and constructed of double diagonal mahogany and oak ribs. To get through the winter, I am tipping away at the smaller jobs, so when the good weather returns, I can get back to the exterior and get the roof and decks sealed fully, and little goes a long way each day. I started back by addressing the plywood panels at either side of the cabin entrance. This roof will also be coated in epoxy and fiberglass in the spring or earlier if I can sort a heating system. I'm looking into diesel heaters. There's a good make in Germany, also a retailer here in Ireland, which I'm trying to sort. And yes, it looks like a good four kilowatt heater uh, would be sufficient for uh, the area of my boat. And that would just be fantastic to be able to pump hot air you know and have heat within the boat keep it dry i do have a dehumidifier for now but this would just be that extra step forward into actually making it a liverboard so whenever i don't have the fuel stove up and running the solid fuel stove this can be used especially for the winter months when i'm not in it and like now so this would be perfect I spotted there's a small leak in the fore cabin roof. It's actually because the cover is leaking a small bit, so it just sieves its way through on the join of the cover. And I just put down a lot of waterproof material on the roof, and that stopped any water getting soaking its way into the bare timber. I chiseled out any rotten plywood back to decent wood before drying it and applying neat epoxy to seal it. Then I mixed up a batch of thickened epoxy using the low density filler and this took a few coats of course to build it up and sanding in between each coat. I got it to a desired look where it was nice and smooth and you'll see later on it, uh, it came out quite good and I'm happy with how smooth it is. Um, okay, if we were to be nitpicky about it, it wouldn't be, you know, if you look at it close enough, you're going to see there's some discrepancies in it, but I'm pretty happy with it.
So back inside at the wheelhouse cabin, I've wanted to get to this plank for a long time. Uh, it has dry rot, as you can see, and if we look closely, there is also a lot of non-stainless steel screws used. So of course these screws, you know, rotted over time and expanded, of course allowing more moisture into the wood. And yeah, so I'd say 90% of the time, dry rot is getting in, obviously from, from deck leaks and things like this, but we can say also from uh, steel screws, non-stainless, uh, you know, not using copper or copper nails or material that corrodes. And it definitely is, you know, source of a lot of so I started by chiseling away the rotten wood. I was hoping that it would just be a small area, but as we can see, it is quite a large section. The plank is totally rotten. So I cut back to where it was you know, decent wood. The plywood seems in good shape as well. There's a few kind of specs, minor specs of mold. So I just bleached that, dried it, used a heat gun, and then I applied a polyurethane wood hardener. As you can see, this, I transferred it from the old tin as it was, the lid broke, and it was just constantly getting drying out. And I transferred it to this white spirits bottle and still somehow set off within the container. So I burst it open and used what was remaining. So I have some old mahogany timber, which is actually out of mahogany furniture, and this furniture would have been cut up for timber to burn, or it would have been thrown out. So it's great to be able to upcycle something like this and have it put to good use. So now I'm satisfied with the epoxy applied to the entrance of the wheelhouse cabin plywood. I've sanded it down flush. I'm nice and happy with how that's looking. So I wiped it down with acetone and let that evaporate. And now I applied a wood stain. And this is gonna take, as you can see, it's quite light. You can still see the epoxy through the wood stain. And I'm just using a, a, a short brush here. I'm actually gonna use a much better brush. And this is just a very cheap brush for applying epoxy normally. So I will do a better job finish on this next. But this was just to get a layer on for now, see how it looks. And now I know it's going to take another layer or two before it will match with the existing wood stain on the plywood. And I'll also sand down the plywood and apply more wood stain, an even uniform coat. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please do leave a like and subscribe if you haven't subscribed to my channel already. We also have a PayPal link in the description below, along with affiliate links to products that I believe in and that I'm using. So I'll also get a small percentage of earnings from those uh, sales um, and that allows me to continue creating these episodes for you guys and to further invest in equipment and products that I can put into the boat. So it's fantastic to be able to do that and I can't thank you guys enough for all of your support throughout the years. So guys, as always, stay productive and have fun creating. I will see you in the next episode.